Hi guys, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. So we have understand about the expectations and how to write the expectations we have seen, right? Now let's try to learn about what is a passing spec and a failing spec. So now let's try to understand this. What is a passing spec? Where when we can say that the spec is passed or when we can say that the spec is failed. Let's try to understand that. Passing and failing spec. Now if you try to see. So when we can say that a spec is passed or failed. Now we will try to learn just passing and failing specs. When we when we can say that spec is passed or failed. So when we can say that spec is passed or failed. So it is used to define a spec. We already know that it is used to define a spec. So that means it means nothing but here if you try to see. So this is the thing. So for it is used to define a spec. Now let's try to see it. So here if I try to open this one. So slide show spec with all to now when we can say that it is a passing spec is spec with all true expectations is a passing spec. So if you if you are having expectations in a spec and if those all expectations are true means then it is a passing spec. No matter we have hundred expectations so that means in each spec we can have hundred expectations so wow, no matter so they, whether they can be one expectation or hundred expectations or anything how many number of expectations are there not a matter so all expectations should be true then only we can say that spec is true so that is the main thing if we have a spec if we have a spec with one or more false expectations means then it is a failing spec so that means we are having hundred of expectations and at least one expectation is failed means uh, false means then that spec is a failing spec. So this is the main thing you need to understand. So passing spec means all the expectations must be true. Then only we can say it is a passing spec. When we can say that it is a failing spec means at least one expectation is false means then it is a failing spec. So that is the thing you need to understand. Let's try to see that one here in the coding. Now here we are having the calculator program right. So here in this spec we are having one expectation so there is nothing but calculator dot total to be five so if you want you can write another expectation also something like expect of 10 dot to be of 10 we can write like this also now in this spec it in this spec should should be add number to the total in this spec we are having two expectations now with this spec has to be passed when it will be passed if these two expectations are true, then only this spec is passed. Let's try to see the output. If I try to show the output, now the first spec is passed. Why? Because in that spec, the two that uh, there are two expectations. Those two expectations got passed are true. So that is the reason. Now, if I try to change it to nine, so let's try to see whether this uh, spec is passed or failed. If I try to see here, see immediately the spec got failed. The first one is got failed. It is telling that. So you know you here you will be able to see the description how nicely it is delivered. So first one calculator.js it is the test suit and in this test suit so this is the spec should add number to the total and in this spec so this is the expectation it got failed and here if you want to see you can see the line number also 11 is to 16. So that means 11th line and 16th character. If you go here here this is the spec this is the expectation that got failed in the test suit calculator.js. And in the and in the spec should add number to the total. So here how nicely that uh, Jasmine has given you the error C. So this is how Jasmine gives you the, this. Now this spec is a failing spec. So now you need to understand that this spec is a failing spec. Now let's try to remove this one. So now here in this one we have written these are all the specs. So let's try to remove these all the things. So now this is the spec. So we have added should add number to the total. So we have added this one right in the same scenario. Let's try to write the subtract for subtract also. So for writing the subtract what we need to do. So again we need to get create the instance for this one. Okay. So let's create an instance for this one. And what I will try to do is calculator dot total. First I will initialize the total to 30. Now I will subtract. Okay. Calculator dot subtract of 5. I will try to do the subtract from the 5. Now what would be the total? The expected total should be 25. So let's try to see. Expect calculator dot total dot to be. So what is the value it should be 25. So this is the subtracting. So what we have did we have created instantiation for the calculator and we have initialized the total to 30. So that means the total is having 30. 
and we are trying to subtract the total subtract the number from the total so subtract of 5 now 30 minus 5 the total should be expected should be 25 let's try to see whether we are getting the output or not if i try to show the output see if i refresh this one so the second spec also got passed should subtract number from the total so the first spec is also passed and the second spec is uh, sorry second second uh, spec is also passed now let's try to write the multiplication so the same scenario what we can do is so here i can take these two things so for every time we need to create a separate instance we cannot share the instance this could create a problem i will show you those things also how can we share the instance between all these specs i will try to show you also those things also so now we have created a uh, calculator instance again and 10 i am taking and i want to calculator dot multiply i will try to do the multiply of 2 okay now what could be the expect here expectations should be calculator dot total so total should be 10 into 2 so that is nothing but 20 dot to be of 20 oh sorry dot to be of 20 that's it so now should multiply number with the total means nothing but the number we need to multiply with the total 10 into 2 is 20 let's try to check the output this one also if i try to show the output see the third spec has also been passed if i try to click on this one so it will it will execute only that spec only in that test suite calculator.js file so if you want to run all the specs means you can click on this one so now all the specs has been passed so the last one let's try to complete that last one also division so here let's try to copy the same thing okay so now calculator dot divide so let's try to divide it by two same thing now what could be the expectation here so expect calculator dot total dot to be of 5 right 10 divided by 2 is 5 only right let's try to see the output whether it is correct or not see the fourth spec has also been passed now here if we try to see the each spec doesn't have a word something like spec has no expectations so now each spec has its own expectations so we have written all the expectations here so we are having four uh, four spec files addition sub, um, subtraction multiplication and division each one has its own expectations so this is how we will be writing the test case so now this one so if you have written the specs and all those things so how beauty it is is for example now the somebody in your team member or somebody has changed something like this change the code multiplication and change it like this instead of doing the multiplication he is assigning the number to the total now immediately if you try to see see immediately the specs got failed so expected 2 to be 20 so here the 2 to be 20 now we have we have the spec where where is the test suit what is the test suit and what is the spec that has failed and what is the line number also we will be able to see 22nd line number means let's go to the spec and here if you try to see so this is the spec that has got failed multiplication the logic is wrong so this is the beauty of the unit test so somebody if anybody has changed the logic means so we, they need to make sure that these all the specs what we have written these all test suit has to pass so that is the main thing that is the beauty of these specs so hope you understood the, this one how to write the specs and how to write the test suit specs and expectations and all those things what is a passing spec and what is a failing spec hope you understood about these all the things so these are the basics and also the important of the unit testing so if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you